Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, as you can see by that red box on the table, I mean, obviously we know, we're going to take a look at a Kershaw. So stay tuned after we roll that intro, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about what came in this box. Alright guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, I know y'all know we're going to take a look at the Kershaw Decibel, okay? But before we get too much further into it, for you first time viewers on my channel, I want to take one moment to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you've got a lot of options out there on YouTube and I'm very, very flattered you chose my video. Now, for you first timers and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe, here's your first chance. Look down here, I think it's going to be in this corner. You can see a little channel watermark popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. Should pull up subscribe. You're going to want to knock that out the way. Now, I'm going to tell you why, and then we'll get into the blade, all right? We're growing. We're having a lot of fun here on the channel, and I seriously want you along for the ride. At least that way you know I'm going to be popping up in your notifications. All right, guys. So, on to the fun. Now, here we go with the Kershaw Decibel. I know. It's a sleek, little, just neat, I don't know, everyday carry option. And yes, I know you saw the thumb studs, but I'll get there in a second, all right? I love the gray look to it. I love, like, the blue anodized rings here on both sides. I just thought it was really interesting, and it really kind of stood out to me when I saw it. I think it was a Doc P 91 b video. I think that's where I first saw it. And I finally pulled the trigger on it recently. It feels good in the hand. Felt great in the pocket. You know, it's been a pleasure to carry it for, like, the last week or so. Now, let's get into the fun part with the stats. It's got an overall length of about 6.75 inches. The blade is 3 inches and closed it's 3.75. Now, it's got a flat grind with a plain edge, done in what they're calling the modern Warncliffe style, and the blade steel is 8CR 13 MOV. I know, it's budget steel. You're going to learn how to sharpen your blade great. It will keep an edge for a bit, but you're going to have to sharpen her up. What I love is the whole thing has a gray finish that is titanium carbonitrate coated. So it gives it that great rust, wear protection, scratch resistance, all that other wonderful things that they say it does. Now you do have a stainless steel frame, which is covered by that gray titanium nitrate, you know, what I just said. Frame lock. Now you do have dual thumb studs. I'll get to that in a moment. There's something I didn't like with this one. I did like that little bit of jimping right there. You can switch it out, left hand, right hand carry, and it is seriously a deep pocket carry. It is tip up in its carry, and there is not a lanyard hole. In case you're wondering, yeah, it's made in China. Centering on it is pretty much okay. You know, I haven't had any real issues. The biggest issue I have had, it seriously is a struggle to get her broken in. This is after <sighs> about a week of just screwing around with it. No, I haven't loosened any screws or anything else. I'm used to Gerber blades on this channel, as you guys know. And speaking of those, look up top. You're going to see a card for every single affordable everyday carry blade we've brought to the channel, and there's a lot of Gerbers in there. They have this really hard break-in period. So... I'm okay with that so far. I was a little shocked right out of the box. I'm like, come on. So we just keep working with it. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff that we like to do here on the channel. Heavy duty stock paper. Now for those of you who was the first time viewer of this, we usually only do three cut tests, a ratchet strap, paracord, and heavy duty paper. So. Ooh, I like that. Okay, well, let's just go fast, no problem. That little curly, curly Q going slow is kind of what I aim for. It does need to be stropped. You guys can see paper on the blade. Okay, so remove you. Okay, for those of you familiar with my channel, the camera just took a dump. We just passed the pull test. Now let's go with a slice test. 
No problem. And let's go through our friend Mr. Ratchet Strap. No problem. Burned right through that. And yeah, it's picked up some, but that's okay. It's all right. Now, let's go through the usual stuff that we do as well. I found it on Amazon, Kershaw, and Blade HQ. Now, on Amazon, it's going to run you $41.95. Over on Kershaw, it's going to be $65.99. Huge jump there. And Blade HQ, $36.95. It's been reviewed twice on Blade HQ and got a 4 out of 5 star rating and three times on Amazon for a 3.8 out of 5. All right. Other than the opening issue, I like it. But here's the important parts of this video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever down below in the comment section. I also want to know, do you think it's noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? Yeah, I know. Seriously, one of these days, I'm going to have those packages back on the channel. Really? And for those of you familiar with the channel, the Keepness Factor is having some fun in the background because I'm not letting her be in this video because there's a blade. But anywho, I mean, I'd like to know, do you guys have the decibel? Have you used the decibel? Did yours have any break-in issues? You know, I, I would like to know because there's a lot of people out there who have no clue on this. And I would also like to have your feedback entered into this video. Like we always do. But now, let's wrap this thing up. For you first time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you so much once again for viewing this video. Look, I know your time is your most precious commodity, and I'm very grateful you gave me some of it today. And I really I hope I earned some more of it. Now, for you first timers who didn't do it at the beginning of the video, and you long time viewers who have yet to do it as well, here's your second chance at redemption. Look right down here. Seriously, right down here. Going to be a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and done that, please destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? That's a great question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of vidges, that's right. Two are going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Kershaw Decibel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.